Malaysia is very panas, very hot, very red, very yeet, just like me. Which is why we created a lot of thirsty Malaysians. But do you even know what kind of water you put inside your body, inside your coffee, inside your tea, inside your baby? Today we're going to review a water purifier that is made in Malaysia, designed in Malaysia by Malaysian uh, Snap Tech Aura Pro. Uh, why is it so pro? This is mob house, ma. Of course, this is more chunky than your usual basic water purifier, lah. We got RGB, can see, lah. Got touch screen, some more, huh? And it is certified halal. Ah, huh? water purifier also got halal, eh? Ayah, of course, lah. Malaysia, ma. Apa tak le? Bruce Lee once said, "Be like water." Because water constitutes up to 75% of the human body weight. So our Kementerian Kesehatan Malaysia or Ministry of Health actually recommends that the average female, adult female, consumes up to 2.9 to 3.2 litres of water while the adult male consumes up to 3.7 or 4 litres of water. Why guys have to drink more water? Ay, because you guys are definitely more thirstier. Of course, it also depends on your daily activity level. So if you're pattern more than badminton, or you like Wing Chun here, Wing Chun there, or you are somebody who Netflix and chill every day, correct what? If you watch Netflix, right, your heartbeat fire where can and watch the, the Korean drama, right? Uh, I also don't. Anyways, you'll probably consume more water than the average couch potato. Now we all know that Malaysia doesn't have the best or consistent tap water. Depending on where you live, it's like 50 shades of grey. It can be very clean or be very grey. And one of the most off-putting things about our water is the taste of chlorine, which is why most of us don't drink tap water. If you do, then you are superhuman, uh, probably. Now, I know when it comes to water, there's a lot of different camps that will fight for different things when it comes to water, such as alkaline water la, or RO water, which is reverse osmosis water. In which case, you should stop because our water is actually not so good to be consumed by the human body. Why? Read the link in the description below. La. I will put some journal there for you to educate yourself. Today, I'm actually quite excited to be reviewing this SnapTech Aura Pro to see how a bunch of Malaysian entrepreneurs actually can innovate in our everlasting quest for the perfect cup of water. Mm, nice. The Aura Pro is available at 2980 ringgit. But if you don't want all the extra frills and features like the touchscreen, individual user hydration tracking and the mineralizer filter, you can opt for the Aura Plus which is only 1980 ringgit. Of course, SnapTech is also offering subscription plans so feel free to click on the links below to find out more. We'll probably do a video on that in the future if you guys are interested. In terms of aesthetics, the Aura Pro is very sleek and classy with uh, some curves all over. It will look good in your kitchen that's for sure. The chassis is made of a combination of white and black ABS plastic which is pretty sturdy in terms of construction and smooth to the touch. There is a matte finish that does not attract fingerprints so you need freaks out there will be happy to know. And also at the front there's a very nice RGB strip and a touch screen that is quite huge. In terms of dimensions, the SnapTech Aura Pro is 460mm tall, 164mm wide and 485mm deep. Its little brother, the Aura Plus, is the same size and they both have a dry weight of 8kg. So this SnapTech Aura Pro actually adopts something called the tankless system. Why? Because it's ungrateful, not really. Because inside don't have tank. To understand a little bit more about the tankless system in this SnapTech Aura Pro, let's remove the side panel and take a peek inside. First and foremost, you need to remove all three screws adjacent to the panel. Pry it open and remove it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The SnapTech Aura Pro comes with four different filter canisters. Two of them are actually shorter but have larger diameters. So it's okay, they all contain the same volume of filtration material. The first one is the sediment filters that filters out large particles that are visible to the eye, about 10 microns in size. The second one is actually the activated carbon block filter. It is also silver activated and it's here to remove chlorine because Malaysian water has very high chlorine content. It also removes toxins, poison, and the metallic taste in water. This block type filter is porous but more dense than your typical activated carbon and there are also silver particles that keep the carbon in an activated state to attract the unwanted particles in the water. Kind of like a magnet but not a very good one because it only attracts bad stuff. The third one is the nanopositive membrane. 
There are a few types of filters on the market. Firstly, we have the ultra-fine filter that filters out 90% of stuff, letting only minerals through. Then we have the RO filter that is like Gandalf the Grey. It lets no minerals pass. What we have here is a nano-positive filter that combines the best of both worlds. It even removes heavy metals that can be there from factory contamination and prevent things like lead poisoning. But it will still let some minerals through. Which brings us to the fourth filter, the mineralizer. This is here to give us an extra boost of minerals, uh, adding things like magnesium, calcium, and potassium. And according to SnapTech, it will affect the taste of the water in a positive way. Whether or not that's true, later I taste, I tell you. The SnapTech Aura Plus is very similar. It comes with the first three filters, but not the mineralizer. So get the Aura Pro if you are a pro like me and a little bit more atas about your water. To understand the benefits of a tankless system, let's take a look at the tank system that has been around for about 20 to 30 years. The tank system essentially consists of three water tanks set up in a series. You have the room temperature water tank on top, followed by the chilled water tank and a hot water tank at the bottom. It typically comes in two different designs. As you deplete water in one tank, the water from the tank above it will fill it back up. And this creates a few problems. The first one is that you will notice your first few cups of hot water will be hot, but the following cups will be lukewarm because it gets filled up by either the chilled or room temperature water tank. The third one is that if you don't drink the water from the hot water tank for days if you live somewhere hot like Malaysia, the water in the tank will develop a stale taste after a while because it's simply not that fresh anymore. Macam susu, sudah jadi yogurt. So based on our test for the past couple of weeks, I can tell you a few benefits of this tankless system from SnapTech. Right, the first one is the precise and consistent temperature of the water. Because of how this thing works, where it heats up the water before it exits the water purifier, you can get a very precise and consistent temperature. I'm just gonna demonstrate to you guys, right? I'm gonna get in here, go to the custom, which I've set to 45 degrees as you can see here, right? So I'm just gonna dispense this water right now. Don't worry about the sound of the pump. Uh, we've added a pump because we don't have running water in the office. So if you just run your tap straight into this thing, you're not gonna hear that sound. All right, now I'm gonna set my thermometer to the object mode so it doesn't try to think that this is a person and then you get 42.6 degrees, which is quite close to 45. There's always gonna be some sort of variation anyways with any sort of water purifier because if you use a tank system, uh, as the water flows out, uh, it will be slightly cooler as well. With this is because it's heated immediately before it exits, there's still a bit of tolerance, but it's pretty close as you can see. Next, we're gonna do a taste test. Now I've drank this water for the past couple of weeks already, but um, to give you my findings, I better just drink it right now while the memory is still fresh. You know, it's very refreshing. Uh, okay, let me go into here. Room temperature, 100 milliliters. And hit this fence. Strong there, the jet of water. Okay, one thing I can tell you is that it does not taste like mineral water, which has a more heavy mineral taste, but it does have a very neutral and uh, slightly sweet aftertaste. It's pretty smooth as well. Uh, as someone who has accidentally ingested RO water before, you can tell that the water has a kind of like a siap siap, like a sour aftertaste at the back of your tongue. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. This one tastes pretty pleasant. Uh, pretty good. Is it the best water I've ever tasted? I'm not such a water connoisseur to tell you. Um, does it taste good? Yeah. And that's it. While you can still dispense water from this water purifier as a guest, uh, in order to use all the tracking features that are very cool, you should uh, use the register new user feature and then it will show a QR code so what you need to do now is install the app into your Android or iOS phone and then uh, register a new account and then use the QR scanner to scan this QR code and you're done. In the main menu for the first few settings, which is room, warm and custom, you can just hit the dispense button lightly to dispense the water. 
uh, in the boil mode, you actually have to tap and hold the button. This is a safety feature so you don't accidentally dispense hot water. Then as you hit the gear at the top right corner, you get into the settings page. The first settings that you have is actually the brightness for the screen and then you have the volume button for the sounds and notifications and other stuff that comes from the speakers. Then you have themes which is the default uh, bright version or the dark night night mode followed by the custom temperature that you can hotkey to your main menu. Then we have your Wi-Fi settings that you can use to connect your water purifier to the internet. And then we have the device and building in which you can check out your plan details, what kind of plans that you sign up for, as well as check out your billing and payment. Have you paid your bills, you know, and stuff like that. After that, we have the service and maintenance in which you can see your service history as well as any appointments that you have set up followed by the address and we're not going to show you where we are so we can keep it a mystery and finally we have the serial number after that we have the very unnecessary simple mode i don't know why you want to buy a bangsawan water purifier like that and still use the simple mode Finally, there's a tiny but excellent detail which is at the top left corner of your screen where you'll find a water droplet that will indicate to you how close you are at the 3000 litre service mileage. So what's my final verdict on this SnapTech Aura Pro? Okay, let's look at the pros first. First and foremost, I think that this thing looks fabulous, okay? With its white and its black combination. At the same time, got RGB, huh? Somehow got touch screen. What more you want? Also, I think the user interface of the touch screen and the software inside is actually very great. It's very easy to use, uh, it's not very confusing. Also, the design looks great. They don't use those like weird fonts. It looks very sleek, simple. Much like something that the fruit brand will make. Uh. Next, we have something that's proprietary to SnapTap, which is the tracking system. Uh, you can use it in a few ways that's very beneficial. First and foremost, you can track the usage of each person that uses this thing to see if your kid needs to drink more water or if your father needs to drink more water because he's thirsty. You can track. Also, the tracking will allow you to have a more individualized billing system. You use more, you pay more. Lah. You use less, you pay less. Lah. Some of the tracking acts like a mileage system, like your car. Every 3,000 liters, right, they will send a notification to SnapTech and you to let you know that you should schedule an appointment to let people come over and service this thing. Huh? But now, got Verona Cryers. So some of you might not be too keen to let them come in. They design it in a way where you can remove three screws, open this, right? They send you the package, you swap it out. At the same time, you watch the tutorial so you know not to put the wrong thing into the wrong hole. Ah. Moral of the story, always put the right thing into the right hole. Mob House 2021. Finally, you have the thing that is actually special to the tankless system. Instantaneous heating. At the same time, ah, you can even customize the temperature of the hot water that come out. So ah, if you are one of those atas tai tai ah, that use those probiotic uh, baby formula, you can set it to 45 degrees so it won't kill all your bacteria and waste your money. You know those things are ex expensive as gold. Some more if you're one of those people who are very particular about your pool uh, that you keep for like 30 years or whatever it is lah, huh? you can have a hot key, get it? To set a custom temperature, 75 degrees, 85 degrees, up to you. Uh. Then your tea will taste good. And if your tea don't taste good, that means your tea is spoiled. Eh? <laughs> Moving on to the meh, which I honestly don't think there's a lot lah, okay? Because they are a new company, I'm just gonna nitpick a little white because by that, Malaysia only can grow ma. So, first and foremost, I think that this screen should be tiltable so that it can be adjusted to the height of your different countertops or your island maybe taller a bit. Uh, or if your kid too short, cannot see, right? Can push down. That would be great, lah, okay? Another thing is that this center of this cup uh, placement uh, pad is not the same as the center of the nozzle. If they could just move this out like 2cm, then that would be good. Also, I wish that they can protrude the nozzle a little bit so you can see the head of the nozzle and you will know where the water come out. Sometimes it's hard to judge, you know. You press, tss, right? spray everywhere. Finally, we have the cons. Because you guys, con firm want to find out one. Uh, which is the fact that this thing cannot be operated without electricity. Uh, that could be a problem if you live in one of those areas where you get a lot of shortages in which you should just upgrade your house. 
<laughs> Jokes aside, I think that this is something that you could easily fix by adding a lithium-ion battery into the housing of this touch screen, uh, which allows you to uh, power the solenoid inside here and let you dispense normal room temperature water. Obviously, you cannot boil water with battery. La. If can, right? Everybody will be Iron Man already today. One more thing is that there's no cold water, but that's more of a limitation to the tankless tech itself, which we hope to see improve in the near future. Which is why I give this very Chang'e SnapTech Aura Pro a 9 out of 10. Why don't a 10 out of 10? Because this RGB cannot flash. If you thought this video is awesome, don't forget to like and share. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this SnapTech uh, Aura Pro or the Aura Plus that we mentioned just now. And we will try to reply to you. Also, if you are interested to purchase this thing or sign up to their plans, feel free to go to their page and PM them and tell them, Mob House send you. Why? Because I'm your friend. I send you sugar discount. How much discount? I don't know. Up to them. Anyways, I will see you in the next one.